This is the main screen for the Alvexo tr web trading platform. It shows us on the top some menu choices, our balance, our equity, and our free margin, all of which are identical at the moment because there are no open positions. We'll go into these a little more in detail, but balance is simply um, how much I've deposited plus how much I've made or lost. <clears throat> equity is uh, the same thing plus if there would be any uh, open positions that would be uh, uh, added to that. The used margin is how much it went. We'll get into those. And free margin, of course, is what I have available. Deposit funds is how I move funds <clears throat> into my account or out of my account through wire transfer, what have you. Um, and we have you know, open positions, of which there are none. Closed positions, which are, you know, it's basically a trading record. Um, uh, and we have financial TV, which is very interesting, and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about the search functions in, in, in setting up a tri uh, well, the search functions in general. We can put in a stock symbol, and don't be intimidated if you don't know the stock symbols at all, and Tesla comes right up, and all the other T's come up right there, and off automatically opens a trading window where I can buy it or sell it if I like. Um, but if I'd like to do a little more homework, I can open the chart up, change my time perspective from 15 minutes to 4 hours, see where Tesla is going, um, and, and do my homework that way. I would like to uh, use a category be, uh, to find something else today. I'm going to look for a cryptocurrency. I'm going to hit all, and all of them will come up. And I'll scroll through to find the Ether dollar, which is what I'm looking for. Now, uh, I can also navigate when I have this on the screen to the this line of choices here called signals and I'll see a fairly recent signal uh, and a little explanation of what it is it's Ethereum dollar um, and it's a suggestion a trading suggestion they suggest long at 386.63 and it's uh, actually slightly under that so this signal is not valid at the moment but you, all signals have to be checked for validity no matter when you look at them this is already probably 14, 18, 16 hours old. But there's always good ideas available in the signals area. If I then go to that um, um, Ether dollar and I want to buy it, which I do, I'm going to, and here I can put in a take profit or a stop loss or a buy only a, stand, a pending order, but I'm going to buy it at the market. And the, the action was completed. And now we see in my open positions, I have an open position. I'm long at 97.51. I'm sorry, I'm long Ether dollar. Um, and uh, we're going to let it ride for a moment. And I can get out of it at any time. I simply press close. Um, or I can edit it and include takes profits and stop losses as I go. Um, and it will always ask me to confirm it, it, it make sure uh, we know, we, you know, we double check. Now you'll notice here that the equity is just slightly below what the balance is because it's the balance less the net P&L. So that's what equity is. And if that was positive, of course, it would be larger than the balance. The margin used is 97.51. That's how much it cost me to take this position in Ether dollar. And the free margin, of course, is what I have to take other positions in. And the margin level... Uh, is a measure of, uh, let's call it, account strength. Um, and here I'm uh, well over, uh, you, all you really want to do is, is to make sure you're over one, but because this is a small trade and I'm just in it for demonstration purposes, the margin level is quite strong. And the gross P&L in the net P&L is what the total loss, the, the loss on the position is, and this is plus the uh, commissions and brokerage fees if there are any involved. So here is the... Um, um, and we'll pause here.